Hey everyone, TechnoMinch here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone location not working, whether it's for a map app or another app, or you simply can't send location. This is the steps you want to follow to fix the location. So let's get started. The very first thing is you want to make sure your location services are actually turned on, enabled. So in order to do that, first thing you're going to do is go into your setting on your iPhone, and then go down to privacy and security, and right up here is location services. We're going to click on that and ensure that this is turned on. So sometimes it can get turned off or accidentally turned off. If you never used it, you might have turned it off. So turn that on. The next thing you want to verify is that the apps that require location services, for example, Google Maps currently has no access to it. So if I try to use it, it won't be able to tell me where my iPhone location is. So I need to either allow while using the app or only so that that location services can be used by this app. And the same exact thing goes for other apps as well. So if you want to send someone your location through your messages, right, make sure that while using the app, it is using your location. So you want to turn that on and then precise location as well. So those are things you want to check for each of the app. Some apps don't require location services, other does. So give them the access. Now the next thing you want to check out is to ensure that the date and the time is correct for your local zone. Sometimes if you travel or move around, that might change. So in order to adjust that, you can go into your settings, general, and then click on date and time and verify it's the right time zone and it's set automatically. Now, for some reason, if it's not correctly set, you can also turn this off and manually change it. But that date and the time has to be the correct one for wherever you are. If that is off, your location service will not work. Ideally, it should be set automatically, so that way it can pick it up. Now, along with that is you want to make sure you're connected through either Wi-Fi or cellular data for location services to work correctly. You can verify here. I can see my Wi-Fi is turned on. Now, if I don't have Wi-Fi, click on cellular, make sure the cellular data is turned on. Now, after doing that, it's time to go ahead and force restart your iPhone. In order to do that, we're going to press and release the volume up quickly press and release the volume down and then hold on to the side button just like that. Again, if it doesn't work the first time, try it again. It's volume up, volume down, and then I hold on to that side button. As you can see, the first time it activated Siri because I didn't press the volume up followed by volume down quick enough. So make sure you do that before holding on to the side button. And I hold on to the side button basically until I can get the Apple logo to appear. Again, it's quickly pressing release the volume up, volume down, and then hold on to the side button. Also knows a force restart, which shuts down the phone software, reloads the code, fixing any software related issue that might be causing the phone to not work correctly and the location to not work. And after you have done that, the next thing you want to go ahead and do is go into your settings again. And we're going to go back to our privacy and security and then go ahead into our location services. And then this time we're going to go to system services and make sure these two settings are turned on and they should be already turned on. But if for some reason they're turned off, we need to turn on compass calibration and then motion calibration and distance. These two settings are important when it comes to apps using it. Also verify some of these are also turned on. So if you want to make sure these settings, most of them should be turned on. But if not, you want to make sure they're turned on. Now, after you have done that and it's still not working for you, the next thing you want to do in this troubleshooting step is in the main settings, you're going to go to general and then go down here where it says transfer reset iPhone. Click on reset and you want to do a reset of location and privacy settings. Once you do a location reset of the privacy setting, basically resets the settings around your location and privacy to factory default. It will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps still be on your phone, but this will reset the settings of the location if the location is working. It's not working, and this is pretty quick. It takes about 10 to 15 seconds to do. Once you click on it, it will just automatically do it for you and see if locations service is working for you. Now, if it's still not working, the last thing you can do is in your settings, go to general, go to software update and check if there's an update out for it. Go ahead and update your phone. It's always a good idea when it comes to troubleshooting, any sort of bugs or glitches going on. So go ahead and update your phone. And I hope after doing all this, your iPhone location services is working. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button. Also, if you found a better way to fix it, 
leave it in the comment section as well to share with everyone and i hope to see you guys in the next video thanks for watching see you guys next time